Here, my boys, off on a grand adventure. The most important mission of their lives. The heroic epic they've always dreamed about. Truly, the finest of Grecian maidens will sing of them. Glory and honor are everything to us dogs of Ares. Except for maybe fame and statues. Poems that fill 50 scrolls. We're Greek. We don't do things halfway. I've been training these lads since they were toddlers to be the best. And I mean the best at fighting, slaughtering, capturing, convincing, and all the other important hero stuff. My boys became so good at being heroes that people can buy our hero services. That's right, buddy, we're mercenaries, serving our god Ares or whoever gives us coin. The ruler of the Celts, King Ith, heard about our epic hero skills and hired my fine young protege, Heraklios, to guard him and his entourage on his mission to Ireland. They're off to meet the Celtic gods, the Twatha the Danan. And Heraklios is going to make some serious coin, and probably some new friends along the way. Maybe find a few Celtic maidens too. Or man-maidens, mandons, whatever floats his boat. Whispers drift on the cool breeze as it wafts over the sea. Could it be the one who will guide them to a new world is amongst them? Could this be the first verse of the legend of Mill of Spain, the Waylander? You're the first to rise, my king. Always. Is there anything you need? No, no. I've, uh, I've been looking forward to this day my entire life. The moment I finally meet the Twatha de Danan. The moment we finally blend our worlds into one. As have I. Though you might have to stop me from putting my foot in my mouth. Meeting my gods, my heroes, it's a lot to take in. <laughs> you don't have to do any of the talking. Or convince them to treat you like an equal. That's my job. For that, I am grateful. Are the others awake? That new soldier woke even before me. The others are beginning to stir. What about my son? Do you want the honest answer? Or, um... He's fast asleep, isn't he? He didn't go to bed until about two hours ago. I'm pretty certain he's still drunk. Oh. I asked you to guard him, watch over him. I know, but... Perhaps the prince should remain here on the ship during our negotiations today. Then how will he learn? Well, not from you, I suppose. Ouch. Fair, but... Ouch. How long have they been here? The whole time. So, how do you feel about meeting the gods today? Ah, that's the spirit. I'm right here with you. I came up here in the first place to ask if your majesty wanted some breakfast. Not just yet. Allow me a few more moments alone to enjoy the stars on the horizon before the sun washes them away. But of course, my lord. Shall we? Um,
And now, thanks to my hard work, I'm the youngest leader of the Druids College ever. Yes, Amigan, we know you ship rainbows. Stop bragging to the new kid. Well, not all of us have had thousands of years to perfect our craft. You're right. Some of us learned to shut up before we turned 30. Be nice, my dear. The sun hasn't even risen yet. Mm, yeah, because nighttime is when no one ever does or says anything naughty. You're insufferable. I love you too. Sustenance has arrived! Oh, thank goodness. I am positively famished. You ate more than anyone else at dinner last night. Yeah, I worked it all off. Okay! Egg time! Yum! We have to wake mm. up the prince eventually, yeah. but he's hes not going to be happy about it. Nope. Absolutely not. Hmm? Mm -mm. Uh-oh, don't look at me. Only the greatest place in the world, Greece. All true heroes need to go on a life-changing journey, like Odysseus. In order to grow, we must leave our homes and face unknowable dangers. This is my quest. Don't get me wrong, I am already a hero, but I could use a better story for the history books. You would be too if you'd spent 27 years chiseling your body to absolute perfection. I've earned this. I'll flaunt them as I wish. We're all so fabulous and stunningly attractive. I personally am unusually skilled at magics, lost to all but the most educated of Morians. Because my skills in the negotiation and persuasion departments are, shall we say, oh no, I'm not going to be humble about this, I'm a damn good talker. I hold a high position in Morian society. Well, uh, I've been an archer and a general for the king for over a decade. My speciality is in planning and spotting traps. We're not expecting any funny business, but just in case, uh, I should be able to take care of it. Oh, we don't know each other that well. I'm a middle-aged widower, and she's a beautiful woman with more knowledge than I could acquire in twenty lifetimes. Oh. We've met up dozens of times over the past few years, but, but never really talked about it. I'm just glad to get to spend time with her. I've lived there since I was a kid. Oh, yes, I could go on about it forever. It's my favorite place. I was found to have talent and brought there to study. Imagine all the smartest people in the world, all in one place, all trying to get smarter. Everyone devout, excited, hungry for knowledge, power. It's exhilarating. And now they put me in charge. It's almost too good to be true. We like giving each other a hard time, and she can be overly dramatic for my taste, but I respect her. I've learnt a lot from her, and I know there's far more she could teach me. Yes, well, he's an idiot. I mean it. He's a total dipshit. He's a party kid. He doesn't act like a prince. The king is so devoted to helping him try to get his shit together. But Lugade doesn't even care. And then I got stuck babysitting the little fucker. <sighs> He's not my favorite.
Yes, I am. There are gods, the Tuatha de Danon. No one knows more about them than the druids. I'm arguably the most necessary person here. We study their magics till our fingers bleed from turning old pages. I'm the best hand-to-hand -hand combatant in the world. I've been training since I was a small child. No one can defeat me. You're safe as long as I'm nearby. Your Highness, Prince Lugade. If he ruined my favorite cloak, I'm going to feed him. Ah, a go easy on him, Amagin. Maybe he'll be better at holding the throne than holding his liquor. At his age, I was already an established professor. We already know you're a freak. No need to brag. Yeah, bragging is my thing. Everyone, we're here. Our scouting boats have finished surveying the beach. We should be safe to land. But it's strange. There were no people to be seen. They're not exactly people, Talosa. They're gods. I know. Our gods. But do they not walk on the ground? Do they not bend twigs when walking past trees? What do you mean? There's nothing. Nothing at all. I'm done with this. You fucking imbecile! Father, why are we giving them presents? You're the king. They should be giving tribute to you. We are emissaries of peace to a people more powerful than any of us can understand or even imagine. This is a privilege. Well, I'm sick of privilege. <sighs> so are we. Excuse me? How's that hangover, your highness? I can't believe you made me share a cabin with this. This. Speak, child. What am I? Enough! I have done everything in my power, both as your king and as your father, to prepare you to carry the crown. You're an adult now, and your mother and I, we don't know what else we can do. When we return home to Galicia, I'm calling together the council. We need to decide if you're ever going to be suited for the throne. But father... From now on, you will address me as your majesty. Stop gawking and get back to work. I'm humiliated. How dare he? I am his son. Does that mean nothing to him? Why can't he accept that I'm trying my best?
You really think so? I'm not sure I care right now. It's never mattered what I wanted. It's my birthright. Or whatever. Mother never shuts up about it. I've always had to be the prince, whether I liked it or not. Now our majesty is throwing it in my face. Asshole. It was wondrous strange. No one. I've been hunting for nearly 40 years. There's no evidence of anyone living in this area. At least not any I'd know to look for. Oh, my heart aches. I, I can't imagine having to do that to one of my sons. But now I may have to. My eldest, Eramon, is next in line to the throne after Lugade and my ebber fin after him. Oh, gods, I don't want that responsibility for them. My sons are wonderful young men. Oh, but so gentle. They both lack the fire needed to lead the Celts. They haven't been raised with this in mind. Lugade has been, and, well, look at him. Uh, then again... You know, I've seen so many regimes rise and fall that it's difficult to invest. I care for them both. But that little shit has yet to learn that titles are hollow unless he earns them. As his father has. If is one of the best men I've ever seen. His intentions approach a level of purity rarely seen in mortals. Though this has caused him intense pain, I believe it was necessary. When I'm hunting down prey, I use my sense of smell. I see if there's any blood in here. Once, when I was stalking a lion, I followed him into his den, convinced I was about to slay the largest beast of my heroic career. But I... Uh, he had a whole litter of cubs, and I just... Uh, I, I couldn't. Yeah, they were... Uh, well, they were so cute. The noble I was working for adopted the whole lion family. Now they live in luxury. All thanks to Heraklios. <laughs> I too was a partier at his age. Oh, I have some sympathy. But I was much better at carrying heavy stuff. And keeping my mouth shut. I need some time alone to think. Center myself before I meet my gods. I must focus on what lies just ahead, instead of dreading conversations necessary when we return home. My wife is going to hate this. I didn't enjoy a single moment of that, no. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but I had to do it. Exactly. That's what made this so impossible. My wife, Escotta, and I, we were never able to have more children. Lugade is so precious to us, we've shown him as much love as we know how. And now this. If I can't be a good father, maybe at least I can be a good king. Fuck you, 
I remember my first quest aboard this ship. It was nearly the end of me. That was thousands of years ago, of course. Since then, I've become an accomplished warrior. If you're looking for combat training, I can teach you some of what I've learned. Excellent. Let's begin. In order to fight effectively, you'll first need a weapon. Pick one from that crate over there. Let's start with the basics of combat. Good job. Let's try some tactics, shall we? started down the road to becoming a great warrior. Here, take my notes. Read them if you need help along your journey. Stay with me, my king. I need more, Amagin. We can do better than this. How dare you tell me what to do after embarrassing me in front of the Tuatha? Oh, the Tuatha that just attacked us. Those Tuatha, huh? Yeah, I'm a wretched bitch for dimming their esteemed opinion off you. Can't believe myself. <laughs> Help!
Thank you. Now let's crush these bastards. surrounded by fear bollocks. I don't know where they're coming from, but there are a lot of them, and it's not good. <laughs> Help me organize the troops. This is chaos. On it. You, help us. This is all your fault. We can yell at the kid later. Save your energy. Would you all please stop? Father, you're still alive. Not if you keep doing that. We need to get the king back to the boats. Agreed. Here, you're not stable enough for me to remove this spearhead. But that should make things a bit more comfortable. Nothing about this is comfortable. Your Majesty. Can you stand? Here, I'll help you. I've got you, Your Majesty. I'll carry you home. I'm all right, I can stand. I just need to go slow. Keep them off me. We can do that. I'll meet you at the beach. Ugh! <laughs> 
Oh! <laughs> 